You broke the bread and blessed the cup. You served a sacrifice of love. Holy, holy, holy. I want to see the glory of all that you are and all that you've done. Jesus, the Lamb of God, oh, what a Savior. You took the altar and made it a table. Nothing can separate what you bring together now and forever. How beautiful the mystery Christ, my hope alive in me Worthy, worthy, worthy I'm caught up in the glory Of all that you are And all that you've done Jesus took the altar and made it a table and nothing can separate what you bring together now and forever I will remember now and forever I will remember Don't let me stay the same And only your love can change me Don't let me stay the same And only your love can change me Don't let me stay the same Only your love can change me Don't let me stay the same Only your love can change me Jesus, the Lamb of God, oh, what a Savior. You took the altar and made it a table. Nothing can separate what you bring together now. This beautiful Holy Thursday, Maundy Thursday, a time where we sit with the Lord in this Garden of Olives, Gethsemane, where Jesus himself with his disciples were scared and alone, frustrated. And yes, Jesus was scared. He sweat blood. That's how scared he was. But yet, it was about listening. It was a moment of listening where Jesus went to the Father, cried to the Father, My God, if it is your will, please take this cup away from me. And he listened. But you see, God the Father was silent. How I imagine he would have longed for a loud voice to come from the heavens and say, Yes, my son. I set you free from all of this crucifixion, all of this pain, all of this suffering, but no, he had to listen to the silence. And how painful that must have been. 
the abandonment of God the Father from the Son had begun. The separation, the brokenness of Jesus' heart for your sins, for my sins. Many of us are listening in silence, wanting a voice, wanting consolation, but all we hear is silence, a deafening silence. But maybe we can, just like Jesus, sit in that silence, listen to that silence, and just sit with the Lord in stillness, in silence, in surrender. As we journey towards the cross, Jesus, as we sit with you in this stillness, we ask that you allow us to be led by you to the cross, where your love poured out. Lord, bring me to my knees as we surrender, as I surrender my life, my heart, my will, my mind to you. Not to be afraid of the stillness, the silence. Not to be afraid to be with you.
Lord, you asked your disciples to listen, to be still, to wait with you for the hour. As you listen to the dead silence, you asked your apostles to accompany you in the silence, in the stillness, in that moment of darkness and frustration with no resolution except the companionship of Jesus with the Father, the companionship of the disciples with Jesus. That's all they had. Lord, we pray that we will be able to listen, to sit with you, to be still, to, for you to be our consolation, not to seek resolution, not to seek answers, but just to seek you. And Lord, that that would be enough for us. Lord, you can have the whole world, but give us Jesus, give us you. The strength to sit with you, to be with you, to listen. Lord, we want to listen to your voice, to your voice in the suffering and the pain. Even as you were led to the cross to die, to die for our sins, Lord, like John and Mary and Mary Magdalene at the foot of the cross, helpless, watching you suffer, watching all the hopes seeming, seemingly fizzle away, but they listened, they watched and heard nothing except a cry of abandonment, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Lord, the pain of the silence, lack of resolution. We come to the foot of the cross. There are many paths to follow. Voices calling out your name. joy other sorrow but all is pointless when you're alone striding wounded and forsaken shattered by guilt and shame 
feeling lost, isolated. Oh, so my soul, I need a savior. So come see, come rest wherever you are. Come broken whole, however you are. He calls your name. Whoever you are, there is room for you at the foot of the cross. Cradled in the arms of love To the cross rides abandoned yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm alive, I'm alive So come see, come rest Wherever you are Come broken come to you in our brokenness, in our desire to be with you, in stillness with you, in lack of resolution with you. We want you. pray for your people those who are praying with us right here right now and are lost and confused feel abandoned and empty inside even before you for those who desire you more than anything else in this world for those who want to serve you but seem to be stuck at a dead end Lord I invite you to enter into their hearts right now here at this moment you would heal your people, that you would break through the hearts of your people, that you would bring freedom, that you would break every chain of their lives, of their hearts, of their sinfulness, Lord, that they may be set free, that they may sit with you and trust you, even though they walk through the valley of the shadow of death, because say, you are with them, Lord. Come and fill the hearts of your people. Give them your peace and give them your embrace as they stand with you in adoration before this great sacrament which we hail, which we worship. Thank you, Jesus. Where the feeble sense 
senses fail To the everlasting Father And the Son who reigns on high With the Spirit blessed proceeding Forth from each eternally Be salvation Jesus, Lamb of God, saving love for all, Lord of heaven and earth, Father's love for all, I bow to you. Jesus, Lamb of God, saving love for all, Lord of heaven and earth, I bow to you. So we pray together the divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. And blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. And blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. And blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. And blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. And blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Bless us, Lord. We ask for your blessing over us, your peace over us, as we worship you, as we journey with you from today, tomorrow, and over the weekend through your holy passion. Let us live fully in the silence and the stillness. Give us the strength and ability to listen. Jesus, Lamb of God, saving love for all, Lord of heaven and earth, Father's love for all, I bow to you. Jesus, Lamb of God, saving love for all, Lord of heaven and earth, I bow to you. Jesus, Lamb of God, Saving love for
behalf of FRG Ministry, thank you for joining us for this time of adoration. During this holy week, we continue to journey towards the love, the heart, the mercy of God. We continue to listen to His grace. We continue to listen to what God has to say to us. Join us tomorrow morning as we have a, a live session. For those of you who are joining us for the retreat, go to encountercourses.com forward slash retreat. If you're able to support this ministry, continue to support this as a ministry partner, as a donor. There's also a link below here. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. And also remember to stay close to Jesus, to listen, to spend time in prayer. I am so excited to invite you on behalf of FRG Ministry to our pilgrimage to the Holy Land. In the middle of October, we are going to head to Israel, to the Holy Land, to seek Jesus, the Jesus of history, to walk where he walked, where he talked, where he interacted with people. We're going to have time to pray, time to worship. We're going to have musicians there. We're going to have time to fall in love with Jesus. The spaces are limited and we invite you to register now. We look forward to seeing you and journeying with you in the footsteps of Jesus. Encounter by FRG Ministry presents our online subscription package. As a member, you will receive digital on-demand access to Encounter's growing library of online courses. Encounter and Encounter Youth online courses cover teaching, devotional and practical elements of the Catholic faith to help individuals, teachers, students and parishes across the world grow in their faith and understanding of the Catholic Church and their relationship with Jesus Christ. Current titles include Knowing Mary, School of Prayer, Introduction to the Bible, The Mass, and more, with new courses being added regularly. All Encounter courses include high-definition videos with expert and engaging speakers, testimonies from everyday Catholics, and downloadable content including interactive PDF guides, prayer cards, and wallpapers. These courses are also accredited for professional development for Catholic education staff in Australia. All Encounter Youth courses include teaching videos, interactive student and teacher PDFs with lesson plans and guided prayer and reflection. For more information about enrollment and subscription options, head to www.encountercourses.com slash subscription. Be sure to follow us on social media on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter at Encounter Courses. Encounter Youth by FRG Ministry presents the Kingdom of God. Join Father Obgalia, Brendan Alliston and Clara Ravdanovich in this curriculum-based online course that explores what the Kingdom of God is and how we are called to bring about this Kingdom today by following the example of Jesus. Filled with an engaging visual narrative, high definition teaching videos and interactive teacher and student PDFs complete with lesson plans, class activities and more. This course is an invaluable addition to your classroom or youth group. Get access to this course and our entire Encounter Courses library at encountercourses.com forward slash subscription.